Hi everyone, uh, we're the Fan Brothers. My name's Eric. My name's Terry. So today we're very excited to be reading from our newest picture book, Lizzie in the Cloud. Um, it's about a little girl named Lizzie who owns a pet cloud named Milo. And I'm going to read you a little bit from the flap. Milo might be a bit of an old-fashioned cloud, but he's the one Lizzie wants to take home. He's not very big. He's not very fancy. He's just right. Caring for a cloud is very important, and Lizzie takes her job seriously. I wonder what happens next. So without further ado, um, let's get to the reading. Lizzie and the Cloud. It was Saturday. Every Saturday, Lizzie went for a walk with her parents. There was no better place to spend a Saturday than at the park, with its gazebos and fountains, the shade of its grand trees. Lizzie ran straight for the cloud cellar. Most people were in a rush to get to the new carousel or the puppet show. Clouds were a bit out of fashion these days, but not to Lizzie. The clouds bobbed gently up and down with every breath of wind. Some were puffy and round, others were wispy and almost not there. There was a parrot, a rabbit, a fish, and an elephant. But Lizzie wanted an ordinary cloud. She named her cloud Milo. It seemed like a good name. Naming her cloud was the first instruction in the manual. There were more steps than she had been expecting. Number one, name your cloud. Number two, water your cloud daily using only fresh, clean water. Failure to do so may result in your cloud evaporating into thin air. Number three, however, avoid overwatering as this may result in downpours. Number four, rainfall can be unpredictable. Always place a bucket under your cloud as a precaution, especially when your cloud is young. Number five, clouds are sensitive and sometimes moody. Thunderstorms are possible if a cloud is unhappy. Number six, never confine a cloud to a small space. Disclaimer, seller is not responsible for any water damage due to carelessness or neglect. Lizzie carefully watered Milo each day. In turn, Milo watered Lizzie's collection of rare orchids, plants, and ferns. On sunny days, she would take Milo with them on their walks. But he seemed to like rainy days most of all. Over the following months, Milo grew bigger. and bigger. Until he covered the entire ceiling. Would Milo ever stop growing? Lizzie looked in the manual for a way to fix this, but nothing she tried seemed to work. One night, Lizzie heard a low rumbling overhead. She knew what this meant. She hid under her bed until the tantrum was over. By morning, only a few raindrops fell. Milo looked regretful, if a cloud can be said to look regretful, but Lizzie knew he wasn't to blame. 
she had forgotten the most important rule in the manual. Never confine a cloud to a small space. Even though it wasn't in the manual, Lizzie knew it was time. Milo needed to float free. Stay close to the bigger clouds, Lizzie called out to him with a voice more suited to small, quiet rooms, not the big open sky. Soon, Milo couldn't be seen at all. Whenever the weather was cloudy, Lizzie would think of Milo. And if she ever spotted a particularly fluffy cloud, she would wave, just in case. And here we can see that Lizzie has added her own instruction to the manual. Number seven, let your cloud float free. The end. Thank you.